Yeah, Pedro and Cher, the state attorney general coming out saying that he launched an investigation into how this happened immediately and will take strong corrective measures, he says, where necessary. We are outside a Burbank gun shop where the owner says he's been getting calls all day long from people fearing their information was leaked, and he feels it could have a chilling effect on those who want to obtain concealed weapons permits. Owner of Redstone Firearms in Burbank says customers with permits to carry concealed weapons have been calling all day for help with concerns their personal information was exposed. We're getting calls left and right right now as to what they can do. They're absolutely upset and nervous that now their information is out there. The State Justice Department reports an update of its firearm dashboard portal Monday went horribly wrong, revealing private information including names, addresses, and driver's license numbers of Californians who were granted or denied a concealed weapons permit between 2011 and 2021. Jonathan Solomon thinks it poses a risk to those granted permits during that time. Especially being victims of domestic violence, now their names, information, are out there along with law enforcement that causes a huge security risk. It's light. I can handle it. Okay. It comes just days after a Supreme Court decision that makes it easier to get a concealed carry permit in California because applicants no longer have to demonstrate a particular need, such as a direct threat to their safety. This is my practice done. Some planning to apply for a permit reacted to the data breach. If it was going to happen, I'm glad it happened before I got my CCW. I don't think an accident might will happen again because there's going to be legal ramifications for that. Well, it's very disturbing and alarming, to be honest. And this morning, the L.A. County Sheriff responding. Not sure what the response is from the Attorney General, from Mr. Bonta, but uh, what's this saying? He has some explaining to do. So, Lauren, um, what are state officials saying then? Well, State Attorney General Rob Bonta did put out a statement saying, in part, the unauthorized release of personal information is unacceptable and falls far short of my expectations for this department. We acknowledge the stress this may cause those individuals whose information was exposed. I am deeply disturbed and angered. Officials say they shut down the dashboard and the information was only out there less than 24 hours. But California Sheriff's Association is saying that that information, at least some of it, they believe, was copied and posted online. Next at uh, hear from the union representing LAPD officers. For now, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Laura.